Hello Charo Math students. Right, this uh, talk through is going to look at the training that you need to do to prepare for your maths resit. Okay, this is particularly for unit two for the foundation paper. How are we going to make sure that we make progress um, and that you get a better score in your second time round than you did in the first time round? Okay, you'll get a copy of this booklet. You put your name on the front here. Uh, you use it in this way. First of all, we're going to give you a breakdown of your results from the last time. And it will look something like this. It won't be exactly like this, but it will be the same colours and things. So what you do, you look at question 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 2C, etc. all the way down and see how you got on. So this student, for 1A, they didn't get anything at all. If it's grey, it means you got no marks. So it's out of 1 marks, so they got 0 out of 1. Green is good. Green means you got the full marks for it. And uh, if you get one that is sort of orange, it means you've got some of the marks. So this student got two out of three for question eight. First thing we want you to do then is to write these scores in so you know exactly how you got on. There's two pages of this. Uh, the second page starts at question 10a. W uh, this will allow you to see what are your weaker areas and what are your stronger areas. And if there's any particular questions that you got wrong, then you need to know what that is. For example, this student will look at question 9C and find that they got that wrong. So 9C ratio, they got 0 out of 2. That was a problem. Did they get 0 out of 2? No, they got 1 out of 2. So that's a problem. They need to work on that area. But how do you do it? It's all right knowing what your weak areas are. But then Doc, uh, Mr. Reyno has very, very kindly put together this this sheet for you which will tell you what skills were tested in the question and crucially what video you can use to address that okay so what you'll need to do is go to maths watch go to the number of the clip that you need and this is n61 that means number 61 so we'll go 61 and we'll go 61 and that'll tell us that it's about ratio now you've got a video here to watch about ratio that'll tell you everything you need to know pretty much. A right, really rich learning opportunity for you. It won't do much good just to watch it though. What you'll need to do is fill in your training session notes because that'll be your training session for the day. Or Well, you might do a few in a day. You write down the video number there, you write down the skill, so you write ratio there, and then you spend time working with that video, working with that film. In this box, you write down what did you learn from it. So this might be bullet pointing the process or the method. This might be writing some diagrams out. You might need to watch it a few times and keep clicking back to bits that you don't get. It's going to be hard work, but that's what the training involves. So there's your opportunity really to learn it. Headphones on, not distracted, Facebook off, off you go. Okay. When you've done that, we need to have test your understanding, see how you got on. So you do the sample question from the video, try that and it'll tell you the answer so you can see if you got it right and then tick that when you've got that right, tick it here. Then you'll get a copy of your November paper and then t try that question again and tick that when you've got that right. And then finally when you've done your follow-up questions which you get from seeing your teacher, tick that. The teacher will give you some other questions on that topic or show you where to get them and then you can tick that. So then you're just filling in, every time you do that, every time you work on a skill, you're filling in your training session notes. Uh, so it'll just keep you on track, keep you organised. Okay? You get loads of help with this, but basically it's up to you. Speak to your teacher about it, um, or if you have a mentor, speak to them, or if you have a one-to-one -one tutor, speak to them. We'll try and get people involved in it. But the fact is, at the end of the day, there's no shortcuts to this. You've just got to work through it, work through it methodically, keep going with it, keep training as if you're on the treadmill in the gym um, and that sort of resilience and working hard even if it's difficult at first will pay off. Now the only thing I would say to finish off is uh, as a warning if you just do all this stuff and you you learn all the stuff that you got wrong last time unfortunately that doesn't mean that you know everything you need for the new exam because the new exam might test different skills as well so you also need to be in touch with your teacher and you need to be clear about the other topic areas you need to learn or revise okay again nothing to stop you using maths watch to do that okay um, but uh, don't just rely on the the skills that were tested last time okay speak to me speak to your teacher um, if there's any problems with that or any questions about that otherwise get cracking with your training please guys enjoy <laughs>